The first exercise that we're going to talk about is called peanut brittle, and this is a staccato bow exercise. And staccato means that the notes are short and separated by pauses. Now you'll notice that the names of all of the exercises hopefully kind of match the exercises. So peanut brittle is kind of hard and brittle, and um, the name matches the rhythm, peanut brittle. And what we're really looking for when we do any of the staccato bowing exercises is to have really distinct pauses where the bow is silent and stopped on the string. And having two bows that go the same direction really enforces that pause between the notes because if there's not a pause, there's not really two notes. There's not two distinct notes. They blend together. So we're looking for that um, nice clear pause in between the two down bow notes. And also when you're turning the bow around, we want that same length of pause. Now, if you are a more advanced student, then you can actually do two, uh, four notes going down, four notes going up. And that really only works if you've got a long enough bow. So that would work, for example, on a half size bow, but for, but for a very young beginner who's on a fractional size bow, you probably wanna stick with two notes per, uh, two notes on down and two notes going up. Um, as, the, as you get more sophisticated with this pattern, one of the things we're looking for is for the stroke to be ballistic in nature. So in other words, um, ballistic means related to the movement of a ball. So if you are actually throwing a ball, there's a moment when that ball is being powered by the motion of your arm. And then the rest of the time, that ball is simply um, allowing inertia to act upon it. You're not chasing the ball across the room. We want to be doing the same thing with our bow arm, actually. So there's two ways that I can move my bow, my bow arm. One is literally raising it and lowering it manually. I am a motor, I'm using muscles to motor up and motor down and controlling it the whole time. I can also use my arm in a ballistic fashion. So I'm going to apply muscular force only for an instant of time and then allow it to allow inertia to act on it the rest of the time. So my arm is basically being thrown up at that first moment and then the rest of the time it's kind of flying up and falling back down. So that is the motion that we really wanna be doing um, as we get more advanced with peanut brittle. There's a tiny little impulse with each of the two down bows and a tiny little impulse with each of the two up bows and that, uh, that bow is really drifting for the rest of the stroke with maybe a little um, punctuation on the stop just to give it a clean ending. Um, you can see the difference between a sort of motoring approach to the bow, the, the bow strokes, and that ballistic approach. So I'll show you one, first the motoring approach and then the ballistic approach. And you can hear the ballistic approach rings a little bit more. Um, it's stopping a little bit more lightly on the string. So that would be the typical way that we would want to do that staccato stroke. And having some very nice loose fingers is really going to assist with that. 